I do talk about being Irish on TikTok though because um, my sister was getting slagged, like roasted for my because I was doing like sex ed, funny sex ed. And so I stopped doing that. And then I, a lot of my material is sexual as well. So I couldn't really post a Wait, lot of stand up. So you were, you were making TikToks about like men don't make women come or something. Well, something like no, this. well, okay, well, okay. Or wait. sex in general. Well, I was putting my stand up and a lot yeah. of my stand up, sometimes there's a joke about sex. Sometimes it's just a joke about dating. Yeah. But then TikTok was paying people to do like adult content. So yeah. I, but had to be like learning. So that's why I did like sex. Ed. Oh, really? Wait, go yeah. back. TikTok was paying people to do adult They wanted like, like learning stuff that adults like it actual no, it, sex ed it stuff. It didn't have to be sex stuff, but they wanted stuff that adults would like. So, um, like more things to get more adults on. So it could be like oh, uh, eighteen plus <sighs> content or not like, like only what, what, what are some <laughs> examples of <laughs> TikToks would, like we wanted some more adults they're like hey you know, can you do more you TikToks mean? about yeah. like the Middle Eastern conflict yeah. we really we're trying to like diversify oh, like our, they would like political base. stuff or like yeah. life hacks for like moving into your apartment stuff yeah. that we would be like oh that's great not like a fucking 12 year old <laughs> yeah. here's a TikTok on how to file for bankruptcy <laughs> yeah. no there was one TikTok yeah. doing really they well they do it then they turn around they start bouncing their butt like, like it, it has to end like that so fucking tragic yeah but no, my sex ed was just like stuff like, oh, the why pubes are good. And then I oh. would just like do like. Why are they good? Oh, but, oh, be, oh okay. <laughs> because. She, she brings a chart. I'm like, yeah. God damn. Yeah. No, well, um, it's a natural barrier against a lot of STDs oh, and really? germs. So yeah. it helps against UTIs and yeah. like herpes and um, what's that other? Genital warts. Wow. It's also a natural. So loop. genital warts stops it pubes. Um, it can like it's not a full guarantee, but it's an extra layer. That's, I think you said it here. It's a full guarantee. That's why you they're there here, originally. Gentlemen. Yeah. Also, it helps with your pheromones, um, because it keeps it in. It's a lubricant, so when women get wet, it like wettens up more, yeah. and it's like a that's my girlfriend. Sweat regulator. Is, my girlfriend's yeah. always saying more pubes. It needs more pubes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> She's like, I'm so dry. Do you have more pubes? Yeah, yeah. She's like, you gave me herpes. I was like, well, you know, yeah. more pubes. We okay? should make a lube that's just pubes. I get on girls. I'm like, you want to see my slick pubes? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to start <laughs> selling pubes. I'm so I mean, well, this yeah. is specific. I say that's more specifically for women, the lubricant. Right. right. Um, but it is a sweat regulator as well. Right. So, yeah. There okay, you go. cool. All right, so you posted a TikTok like this. They were like, pubes, I love them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then my sister's 15, and <laughs> she's like, can you shut up? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're embarrassing oh, me. Katie wow. Boyle checking in from New York City. <laughs> here to say I didn't that even factor that she was so young. She's young. Why, because yeah. the kids at her school then started mocking and her sister. It's, yeah, they're She was like, yeah. I just got pubes, and now everyone's talking. And I got really sister. defensive, because I was like, God, oh, Ireland's so sexist. But I guess, like, no matter what, she is still younger, and I have to consider and stuff, and they are all on TikTok. So I was like, okay, I'll just... I won't, I'll only put up stand up that's cleaner or I'll talk about being Irish which I don't talk about on stage yeah. and now my whole TikTok is like well in Ireland we did this <laughs> and yeah. just stories about it you can't it. listen to your sister you gotta yeah. live your life well no yeah but I really like her and she's like she even texts me being like look you're obviously doing something well because you're doing well but it's more like I just want to consider and if she's only in a year she's going to be a month like in a month she'll be 16 and then she'll be 17 so it's only a year that and it's forcing me to think of cleaner content at a certain so. point when she turns 18 you're like I'm going to get so filthy I'm going to be yeah. like here's yeah. all my ball material yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here's how to fist safely. Yeah. Well, I'm also, <laughs> and I'm also not wasting material by putting it up either. So it's probably good that I'm getting to save it for when people come to shows. I think. I don't know. I just love it. Yeah, but they so show up. They're like, talk about pubes. We know you about, you know, yeah. you from the pube. I still have all those videos up, but. Yeah. Just so you're just changing your content based on how it affects your sister negatively. A little bit. Wow. Yeah. That's very considerate. I would just block I know, my I'm sister. I'm going to fail. Yeah. Well, yeah. I did block her. I would just, just cut her out of my life oh entirely. Oh, no. She's <laughs> so great. She's lovely. And she sent me like a, a message that said, read more. So that's when I knew I was in trouble. But it was very like... Read more? Yeah. Oh, about, like, you had to expand. Had to she expand. wasn't just telling yeah. you to read more books. No, no. <laughs> she's <laughs> like, you dumb bitch. She's Talk like, about where, more. Where like, did you read all this shit about pubes, you <laughs> fucking yeah. psychopath? Yeah. Did yeah, you yeah. go to the library? Um, and the sex ed stuff was like stuff I didn't know. That was the whole point of it. It was like learn from me because I wish I knew. There was like a ton of stuff that when I was younger I had no idea about and I wish I had of. Not like, oh, I did a lot of HPV stuff as well. Like I have HPV. And if someone had told me about that it would cost me $250 a year to get my fucking HPV picked out of me, I would have not had unprotected sex. So that's a lot of money. Right. Um, $250 a year? Um, so that's n that's just for the if you have HPV and you have to get scraped out and if you have health insurance thankfully I have health insurance 
but then there's also the you have to get scraped a smear out. Test. Yeah, they scrape it out of you. Really? Well, they do a smear test. Do so they that's give it to you at the end when you're, when you're done? They're like, here it is. No, they yeah. don't know where they put it. I don't <laughs> yeah. look. Like in a, they grow it in a jar. <laughs> <But> <laughs> well, they put vinegar inside. If they see something, do- they put vinegar inside you. And if it, no, yeah. And if it goes yellow or something, part of your insides, then that's like potentially cancerous. So they'll pick that out, send that way to be tested. And then if that is cancerous, they have to come back and then scrape out the rest of it. And um, so it's wild. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, that's it's crazy. Involved. They charge two fifty for that. I do that for twenty bucks in my van. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, and they're always like, "Well, it Santi's looks HPV bad." Van. Yeah, and then it always comes back that it's not that bad. And I'm like, mm, "Are you just charging me two hundred and fifty and just picking away parts of me now that right. they need to be?" But <laughs> it's like it's totally clean in there. Like, guys, we got to bring out something yeah, yeah i don't know but yeah anyway use condoms oh, i just got a fucking a medical bill where i went in and i just i just got a bill for like 960 dollars for what some doctor's visit um where they cut off my dick that's a deal i didn't even get i didn't even get the key that's funny it. i do that for 20 in my van <laughs> yeah. yeah i just realized is this a scam because sometimes with america i don't trust your this isn't what I was going to talk about, but I don't trust your health insurance, health insurance, or your health because they're always trying to get money from that. Because that procedure is two fifty for me, but like when I open up, it's like two thousand dollars on the yeah, health yeah, insurance. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like, are they just picking away parts? No, it's all mobbed up. The gynecology, the what? Uh, biz, uh, mobbed, mobbed up. up. Yeah. Well, yeah. my gynecologist isn't from America, and no, that's rude. But I trust that more. And really? my dentist, when where's I where's he? Where's he from? That well, you trust? she. Yeah. Oh my god, I don't know. Some a fucking pig. Some, yeah, my pen. Fucking chauvinist. Oh my god. If I let a man poke up in my vagina, no, please. Um, that's woman's work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. And my dentist, she's from uh, Eastern Europe, and I was like, okay, I because tr- I also feel like immigrants. How was her teeth? How are her teeth? Her teeth you agree you think you think eastern europeans are known for having beautiful teeth i think they're known for no bullshit no bullshit yeah. all right so like, she's not gonna char- overcharge me or sneak a rip a two out just right. to get the insurance she literally was like you i was like i think i need another filling and when i was in ireland they said i might need it by this time and she was like i think you're grand for another six months let's come back in six months whereas i feel like an american dentist and mrs may me making a huge generalization would be like yeah let's just fill it up there and charge more yeah, maybe that's true. But it's if you true. have insurance, it's, it costs you basically nothing. I don't anyway. want it, though. It feels gross. Yeah, but the thing is, just part of why the system is broken is that these people need, like, it, their overhead so high that they have to, like, gouge insurance companies in order to break even. But you're just saying you don't enjoy medical procedures unless Who they're necessary. Does? Yeah, of course. Who yeah. wants to be picked away at or scraped away at right. unless you need it? I go into the emergency room all the time. I'm like, I think there might be a gerbil in my ass. Yeah. <laughs> no. I have no idea how it got no. there. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm holding in one hand a box of gerbils and in another <laughs> hand, a, like, a, an unknown open thing of Crisco. Everyone's like, hi, Santi. Right. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, so we should introduce our guest. Uh, We haven't done that yet. Yeah. Uh, uh, Today, (laughs) we have uh, uh, in the studio, uh, in our fancy studio, we have uh, Katie Boyle here. Hey, uh, thanks for being with us. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Uh, Katie Boyle has a podcast called The Shift. I do. And that's a dating term, right? Yeah, it means kissing. To kiss. Like, I shifted him would be I kissed him. Right. Yeah, wow. I think in other parts of the country it might mean sex, but I, uh, I've always kno- known it as kissing. I always thought it meant sketchy. Yeah, it means shifty. Like shifty. Yeah, but that's yeah. an a- that's an American this is slang. English. This is American. Oh, okay, or, I mean, Irish, Irish slang. slang. Like I shifted him, would be it I kissed him. It makes it sound like it's a job. Like I had to go do a shift. Yeah. It is a job. <laughs> I had to go put your, to a job. Put your a oh your man, backbone I, in it. I yeah. did three shifts today. I got the night shift. I had to work shift. A, I had to yeah. work a double. Yeah. I had to work open and close. Yeah. Yeah. Punch in, punch out. Well, some you gotta teach them, so it is right. work. You gotta be like, oh, yeah. okay, less tongue, <laughs> more tongue. Right. You tell that you'll correct people. You'll be like less tongue, more age, tongue. At this age, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not putting up with bad kissing at this age. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I've told like most of my past partners in the last like two years whether or not like how I like to be kissed. Was anybody um, spot before on before or after? One guy was spot on, but he was also an narcissist. So. Oh, really? Do you think that maybe that's why he was good at it? Yeah. He was like, he like got off on how good he was at kissing. Well, he's just good at stuff and like dressing well. Oh, and really? Like appearances, just not oh, okay. uh, emotionally intelligent. Right. So yeah. it was there to this guy sounds awesome. You. Yeah. I, I really yeah. like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. he's hot. Yeah, he's a DJ. <laughs> no, oh, no, yeah, a self-proclaimed so, DJ. Yeah. yeah, at this point in your life, and then you're still dealing with DJs, is what you're saying? Well, no, no I have a boyfriend now. He's yeah. a comedian, so yeah. Oh, yeah, much better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he is really nice, though. He's so nice. Yeah. Like is there a DJ comedian? I wish there is. DJ, there is. DJ Andrew, Dog Pound. Andrew. Mm. That guy drowned in pussy a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Chef Andrew. Andrew McGill. He's a Andrew DJ. Andrew McGill is a comedian. I've never he's heard of funny him. Funny and well, okay. What, where is he you from? Should fuck him. I should fuck him. <laughs> book him. Oh, book him. 
Okay, we're both. Um, I, I'm not like a, a comic who does DJing while on stage. Oh, no, that no. would be weird. Wicka wicka ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, I'm going home if I hear that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, no, no. Okay, but so the, this uh, DJ narcissist, he was good, but then the rest of them. You, you have to you have to make some adjustments. You he say just it. talked about himself a lot and his childhood problems and his traumas. Yeah, what were they? I'm not that big. Yeah, like <laughs> not compared to mine. I was like, oh, get over it. What what <laughs> what, what were? Can can I ask what they were or you know? his? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I. <laughs> oh, mine, no problem. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I can't. It was just like uh, his relationship with his father, <laughs> and but he was just very melodramatic. Like he would say stuff like, you know like lying in bed pillow talk would be like i just want to go back to where he's from yeah. uh, one day and like build this skate park and just like make a real difference to the community and yeah I'm like yeah. shut the fuck it up. sounds like a real winner yeah, yeah. did no. you ever go to his dj gigs well he dj'd in his room a lot so i was serenaded <laughs> with dj music a few times but we were dating during the pandemic so i never went to his gigs but it was funny because I was at a comedy show and there was a DJ there and I was talking to her and he was complaining the whole time we're dating about not getting enough gigs. And I was like, oh, can I put you in contact? I did. And then he was like, a week later, I was like, did you ever contact her? And he was like, no, like, that's more for like, uh, like she was, she was an Arab woman. He was like, it's like an Arab station and I'm not Arab and I don't know if they would want me. And I was like, you should just contact. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. Anyway, fast forward when I ended it, a month later, I had a little creep on his page and he yeah. was like, thank you so much and tagged her, loving the gig. And I'm like, bitch, thank me. Yeah. I got you the fucking gig. Right. <laughs> Cunt. I'm your fucking manager now, yeah, huh? Yeah, but whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't do it. If, if I were dating, I might be just listening to him complain about it. So like... I'm, 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 it's grand. I'm good. Lucky. Damn, yes. dude. Well, congratulations on tossing him to the curb. Yeah, yeah. Deserved it. Yeah. You broke up with him? Yeah. Well, how'd you do it? Uh, I asked him to come over to my house. Yeah. Oh, man. And I was like, oh, I was like, I'm. He's like, I'll bring my turntables. You're like, it's okay. No, no it's fine. No, he kind of knew because we'd had yeah. like a weird, <laughs> rough few days. He's so got his yeah. turn, like, table sad when yeah. you're breaking up. He's like, error, 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 error. Well, error. it was all ended on good terms. I was just like, I don't, I am, you are taking way too much from me emotionally, and I'm not actually a girlfriend. You're getting like, not even a girlfriend experience. You're just like, therapist. Uh, yeah. I'm like, and then when I said everything to him, he was like, yeah. He was like, that's a nightmare. I'm just not in a great place. And yeah. I totally understand. Mm. So he was like, cool about it. Then he walked into the ocean. Um, yeah. <laughs> he had a gig for yeah. beside him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think what happened afterwards. I think he just went home. We slept yeah. together like a, a month later, but then that was it. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this all started because you had to correct kissing, but his kissing was on point. Mm -hmm. the, the one guy, the, the one yeah. broken, the, the the very broken man. Yeah, he's good at kissing though. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting yeah. how that works. Yeah. Usually, men like that are good in kissing and good in bed and stuff. Oh really? I feel like mm -hmm. yeah. Emotionally unstable men yeah. <laughs> that bitch all the time. About their uh, therapists? Yeah, well, they're usually, yeah, they're usually good in bed. Those kind of toxic men are usually good in bed, I've found. Interesting. Oh. Yeah. Because they're just, or like crazy men, because they're like, oh, I'm going to, you know, fucking, you know, I don't know. I, have, <laughs> I had one guy, like, smell my You're armpit, and he was just like, oh, that smells so good. And even though it was weird, it was kind of like, oh, this guy's crazy. You know, it's kind of like, <laughs> they just, pos they possess you. It's yeah. not very crazy. Yeah, this guy sounds armpit. out of his mind. Well, <laughs> Who would do something I don't know. Like that? It was just very, like, Smell. I he can't smelled explain me. He enjoyed it. a woman's smell. I can't yeah. explain it, but it's very passionate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, passionate lovers. Like, some of the most toxic guys I've had have been, like, like the hottest how do you sex. How do you passionately smell someone's armpit? It's just like you toss him on the bed just and just like, like animalistic. Their arm up. Like animalistic. Like he's so into yeah, your you know, pheromones or yeah. whatever. He desires every aspect of you, including yeah. your armpit. Come but on, Dan, read a that, fucking romance that. novel. I Come sneeze. On. I sneeze into armpits. Did you read the Fabio book that yeah. I <laughs> that I assigned you? But the problem with that is that turns Putting over. Fabio on the bus. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, Fabio, who? F but okay, Fabio was like this guy with long hair who was on the cover of romance novels. Oh. So I'm saying sure, I'm sure in, you in these romance him. novels, yeah. Yeah. this is what women fantasize about is a guy knocking him over and smelling their armpits. Yeah, but then the problem with that is those type of guys, when they're possessive in the bedroom, it tends to be possessive outside of the bedroom. Like right. that same guy was like, you know, that dress is too short or like, oh. where are you calling me all the time? Yeah, yeah, that's no good. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, 
Kick Palmer. him to the curb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's fine. That was a few years ago. So you'd rather date. No, you said it was the pandemic. It was no, like six months the, ago. The smelly armpit guy was. Oh, the two smelly years armpit ago. guy? Yeah. yeah. Nice. I'm going to see a timeline. I yeah. have had <laughs> like a lot of. Smelly terrible. armpit to DJ. <laughs> yeah. Do you, uh. <clears throat> but so you'd rather date like somebody who's mentally stable, yeah. even if there's not that animalistic, uh, sex drive or whatever yeah that's better yeah but like the, my partner now he's um it's not like i'm not like jumping him when i see him but i also really enjoy his company and just like <laughs> relaxing and watching movies well you sound like you're 50 i know yeah, yeah. but i do the sex is great but it's not i like feel i feel like with the other guys that's all i really want i would just have sex with them like three or four times a night and a lot of our time together was sex whereas with this guy it's like sex and I'm happy. I enjoy talking to him, so that's good. Oh. But he's good. He's different. He's like the like I never had sex. He likes to do massage oil sex. I didn't even know that was a thing. So it's not like you know, bend you over the kitchen, but it's like this like slow, s- enjoyable sex. And right. I really like that. So. Uh, sounds like a fucking pussy. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> he is a pussy. I think he's gay. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's, what, ha, it's like it's so perfect. This sex have is you, so good. Have you told him you think he's gay? Yeah, and I, I accidentally said on, on stage last night, it was so funny. I was like, oh, this is like the best relationship I've had. Because I was going into a bit about him sleep, <laughs> sleepwalking. Yeah. And I was like, you know, it's been so... He, he keeps sleepwalking in dicks. So <laughs> 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 I was sleepwalking. He's I tried to ass. say the neighbor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I tried to say he's so great. But <laughs> she I, opens the door. She's like, "Oh no, oh, no, <laughs> stop! This is a true <laughs> fear of mine." But I tried to say on stage, he's it so great. It goes on for minutes. He still just got to <laughs> pretend to be sleeping. Yeah. I tried to say on stage, they're so great, but I said he's so gay, and oh. I was like, "I mean, great." And then everybody was laughing. I was like, I "Genuinely, did not mean to say that. That wasn't like." Did, a, did they think that you were calling him like homosexual gay or like like middle school? Like he's so gay. No, they all knew it was like the way it just. A Freudian yeah, slip. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, but yeah, I hope he doesn't turn out to you be You should gay. have gone for like 1950s gay, which is closeted and happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah like I'm that. sure those guys were super happy. Yeah. Well, yeah. and he gets like, it's, it's not like he's, he, I've said it to him and he was like, I literally, when we like start kissing, get a heart on, I'm clearly attracted to you. And I was like, I know, but because he's younger and New York men kind of scare me a little. Yeah. He's like only 26. So I keep yeah. thinking like, oh, in a few years, he'll be like, I want to try out men. And that's fine. I just, I'm 30. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm That's the thing very about monogamous. Dating younger oh. guys in New York is that eventually they'll turn to men as a phase. Well, and you, you, you guys get are more open sexually. Yes, phase. yeah, you guys are more experiential here. Yeah, women do it in their teens and in college, and <laughs> men do it when they hit like 33, and yeah. they're like, "Fucking none of my dreams worked out. Maybe I'm gay." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, if he does turn out to be gay, grand. I just don't want to waste my time. But yeah. it's, I'm sure he's not. I don't know why I have this. In my and his best friends are like. But you told him why? that you think he might be. Can you imagine? Yeah, bisexual like, and he just he just he's like, like you finally come out the courage the courage and you like tell your girlfriend you're gay and it's over and she's like man you wasted my fucking time it's yeah like, well i wouldn't say you wasted my time but i would think it because i am 30 <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh i just hit my toe that was so sorry yeah i think it is like uh, do you want at this stage um no i have a i have a sore toe but um oh, okay. and i just hit it and i was like oh but um for nice. me at 30 and especially with comedy i'm just like when i'm giving my time to anybody it's very valuable so i don't want to obviously even in two years he was like oh, by the way i'm gay mm. so this can't work out i'd be like yeah. oh for fuck's sake i knew it you know where you have those things where you go i fucking knew it and yeah. i just don't want to be proven well, right yeah, this is all very homophobic you, Katie. I hope, no i, hope, I would uh, be supportive uh, and be uh, his no. friend <laughs> but i would be like if i decide to have kids that's like, oh God, now I gotta, because I wanna, if I have a kid, I wanna have it by 35 to 38. So in my head, as a woman, this is the way we think. I'm like, okay, well, that's two years that's gone off meeting the right person, and you wanna be with them for two or three years before, so. Well, you got, you're doing a lot of math here. Yeah, well, that's so sad. You have to do it as a woman. You don't yeah, have to think about shit. And in New York, being gay is part of that math equation. Yeah, because he might be gay. Yeah, yeah. Have you, but you told Divide him, you, by gay. you told him you, so your fear is, I think pretty soon you're gonna discover you're in a guise, and then once he tastes, a man that he's gonna be like no more <laughs> Katie Boyle for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sure it's, it's a weird way of putting he's it. Like I've had the nicest flavor now. Yeah. Any other man? Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's also he's also and this is gonna be insulting <laughs> to you guys. Yeah. But no, he, I'm gonna finish it before you go into a bit. He's also extremely emotionally intelligent and very kind and sweet. And I've just associated 
associate right. that behavior with my male gay friends. He also yeah. does material about loving ass play and yeah. having his oh, ass Oh, you know who with. he is. Yes, yeah. you see. That's the main thing. <laughs> he loves ass play. Yeah, he does. I love his crowd work where he blows six guys. Yeah. I, love, I love. Oh, I know this guy now. Yeah, he's I very, fuck him every he's night. He's very popular yeah, 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 in Chelsea. Do you know him? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I don't, I, I don't know who. Just from the uh, baths. Just from the spa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just from yeah. the scene. You know, yeah. the other okay. scene. I yeah. had to I had to stop him because I knew he was gonna go into a bit and I was like, yeah. No, I need to finish this sentence. <laughs> yeah, I have no I have no real emotions. It's just <laughs> how do I fit this into a bit? It's almost like you're making a bit for us where you're like <laughs> yeah. where, where you're yeah. like, Well, I just thought he was gay because he was emotionally intelligent. Yeah. Yeah. I know. yeah. I know that's terrible, but I've just my experience <laughs> with men and dating is the ones that like me anyway are not Cause, emotionally intelligent. Because you come home and you're crying and he's like, Why are you crying? Uh, and you're like, It's cause I think you're gay. Yeah. And then he goes Wow, are you sad? <laughs> you know, wow, this fucking guy, this guy can really read a woman. So, so that makes you sad that I'm gay. Yeah. He's like, you're so emotionally intelligent. <laughs> you fucking get it. How you do it? Right. No, yeah. no, no, not at all. No. I feel like so. If you're what's emotional intelligent in a relationship? So let's say I say to you, I have an issue with this. Yeah. And then an like emotionally what? intelligent let's person pick it, pick an would be issue. like, okay, hey, <laughs> you're gay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think of what a good issue is. You know, the last few times you've been like late for dinner and it kind of bothers me. Yeah. So an emotionally intelligent person would be like, oh my God, you know what? I just am so bad with time, but I didn't realize that bothers you. Yeah. It's something I can definitely work on. But yeah. also if I get caught up with stuff, it's not about you. It's not per- I'm not being disrespectful. Yeah. I'm just bad with time. Fuck. That's so hot. Yeah. Oh right? my God. I love hearing that. <laughs> yeah. Well, and an, an unemotionally intelligent person gets defensive and they're like, well, do you know what? I'm just fucking working late every night and you don't understand it, I, the fact that I'm even seeing you is huge and I'm fitting you into my schedule and yeah. then the other person's like yeah well, i'm just asking you to be on time like why is yeah. it so hard and they're like right. why are you shouting at me and you're like i'm not fucking shouting and right it's like right this right, big right. Thing. yeah yeah so i feel like a lot of people get defensive or yeah. they can't communicate or they're not like oh this is great that this person's bringing this up instead of holding it in their head for six months and then throwing a kettle at you right right but, right so i think it's rare to find people who are good communicators right yeah i can't wait till we have you back on this podcast in six months and you're like yeah he was gay yeah, yeah <laughs> i know i love him i hope not no. but if he is i'll support him just once it doesn't eat into baby making years if i decide to have a baby Why i might just have a dog though. could you just have a baby on your own would you do that no because no? i want to have someone who wants a baby more than because i don't think i want one yeah but i wouldn't mind so i need my partner to really want one so they so, do a lot of the work sound like a great mom yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, because I still want to be able to do comedy and stuff. And I feel like no matter what, as a woman, a lot of the work falls on the woman because the kid just naturally wants it more and the, all the yeah. other stuff. But not your kids because your kids would be gay. So they'd yeah. want to hang out with their dad more. Because <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> if you had, you, have, you had kids with him, they, yeah. you know. Well, look at Molly's dad and um, her dad turned out to be gay. Yeah. And they're like best friends. So that's fine. But when she was talking about it on stage, I was like, God, that's my boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. And you've told him that and he's like, nah, nah, don't worry about it. But I mean, even if you're bisexual, like, like, let's say. E- but if like he's bisexual, he's going to want to try it. And I worry that he's younger. Not necessarily. Yeah. Do you peg him? No, I haven't even shoved a finger up yet. Yeah. So just fucking peg him. No. And then, and then well, men, will, the men will have nothing on you. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. No. Does that not that idea doesn't entice you? No. Start with those giant rubber phone fingers. Well, so now <laughs> that they that, sell at baseball now games. Now that may be a more of a deal breaker than you potentially thinking he might be gay is the fact that he's going around stage to stage just being like, "I love my asshole played with." The only yeah, thing I like on earth <laughs> is just people shoving things in my ass. And you're like, "I think he might leave me because he's gay." It's like, well, maybe, but he definitely will if you don't put things in his ass soon. No, you know? I know this poor guy's ass. Well, I said to him the other day, I said because he likes when I scratch his. Back and this I was poor like, guy's empty ass. Yeah. Well, he my was na- like my lower, lower, a little bit lower, yeah, a little yeah. bit lower. No, <laughs> but now up. Now put no, it in. Because I can't now be a dick. Long. Now be a guy. There we go. I That's asked the spot. him. I said, oh, which, which you're is my even dad. fair. <laughs> I asked him which is even fair. My nails being long, or does he want me to start doing ice play? And he was like, I prefer your nails being long because he likes being scratched. So there you go. Hey, I got uh, news for you. You got two hands. No, stop. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, lesbians do the thing where they like they keep like. uh Two fingers snipped so that they can do, you know, you can have both. Okay. What, the other three are for Coke or? <laughs> Imagine I turned out to be a lesbian. I come back on this podcast years later and I'm like, actually, it was me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, after that podcast, I realized I hate men. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like gay, straight, they all suck. Yeah. 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 They're all just idiots on a podcast. Yeah. I will do finger.
hear about stuff to him soon. I did it a little bit. Are you like working up the courage? Yeah. You're like practicing on a chicken. <laughs> 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 you're, like, you're like buying different animal carcasses that you can finger just to fucking work up the it's courage to shove it in his ass. Hey, it's Dan, new. can I borrow your dog <laughs> for no. a second? I was like, why? Yeah, you're like, hey, I'm doing ca- free cat sitting. Why? Yeah, no charge. <laughs> no. Not fingering animals. No, yeah, guys. No, we'll see you in an hour. I'm going to the morgue. <laughs> 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 okay, I think I took it as far as I could. Yeah. <laughs> um, Katie, can I adjust your mic yeah. just for the camera? I want to do it like this. Oh, hello. Yeah, and so now we can see your face. Yeah, that was all unusable, mostly because yeah. it was extremely homophobic. Yeah, let's take it from the top. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> let's yeah. take it, it from was the top. Not homophobic. <laughs> no, no, I was just talking about us, us oh. uh, 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 doing it. No, you're fine. Yeah, yeah you're no, fine. You're great. You're dating yeah, a gay guy. You're very accepting yeah. of your gay <laughs> yeah. boyfriend who's definitely gay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. How many fucking podcasts have you been going around the city <laughs> being like, my boyfriend's uh, queer <laughs> and yeah. I don't really know how to deal with it? Oh, but man. you know, sometimes though, you have like a feeling about things and then it turns out to you, right? And that's what I'm yeah, worried about. Totally. <laughs> but yeah, yeah no, yeah. that's, and he's just like, uh, he's so great, I'm sure. He's. I also just haven't dated someone like really nice and great before, so I'm yeah. probably just p- picking the one thing that would make us not be together. Is right, if I right. were not a man. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. So. <laughs> That's the one thing. I mean, right now, I guess so. Yeah, everything's going really well. Right. But yeah. who knows? Cool. Cool. Yeah. All right. Nice. <laughs> well, uh, uh, that's the podcast not about scams. Yeah. About, uh, this is uh, well, this it might be because I might be scammed if he's gay. S- I don't think scammed. it counts as a scam <laughs> if your boyfriend realizes he's gay. No, if he knows he's gay. No, of course he's lying. And he's to fucking her. you yeah. for the insurance money. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> then yeah. I don't think no, I've ever sure. been scammed. Then if you know you're not into women and you're dating a woman, that's that's sneaky, and I support it. Yeah, yeah but, he, but we have sex and he gets hired on, so he's into women. Yeah, but you don't know what he's thinking about. Oh, he's thinking oh about. Oh my god, stop it! Why would you do it after me? I'm not gonna be like, what are you thinking about? What are you thinking? Look at me. He makes you wear an yeah. Obama mask. Exactly. You're like, oh come on, I think I know what this is. Yeah. <laughs> um, you got a scam story? Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, now I don't know if you think it's scam. No, but just I, bring whatever. Okay, we'll I read we'll the determine last part. if it's a scam. Well, yeah. I feel like sometimes I get scammed by friends or boyfriends in regards yeah. to, so. I, um, I was just talking to my stepmom about this and about how, how friendships should be transactional, and I know that sounds. They awful. should or should not. They they kind of should be. So me and my stepmom were saying this that sometimes. What, what a cynical stepmom. I know because no, she's great, but she be- sounds like a stepmom. Yeah, yeah, she well, sounds like the perfect no, she's stepmom. Amazing. She's like, I, I get your dad. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. get to do my laundry. Yeah, your dad's rich, no, and that's why I'm talking to you. The problem <laughs> is when people don't think about it that way, they tend to take advantage of you. And I'd be very nice and giving, and it's also like yeah. if they're not. If you're not willing to be supportive or kind back, don't take my. Right. And I find that I meet a lot of people who are like, nearly, it becomes to a point where they expect right. things of me that they're not even. Uh, so let's say if I'm up here on a 10, they're down here on a 1. Let's get, can be, we get examples here? Um, I had a friend and they were friends with her, this person for a couple of years. And they always had problems, always had something like uh, something with like a g- guy where we had to go to the police, which is totally fine. But like a very dramatic, a problem at work, I lost their job, needed to be trained. So I trained them, needed money. So I got them to host something that was and it was every week and it was good money. So I was like, you can do this because I know you need money. And I kind of done that for any and it's totally fine. Mm-hmm. But let's say fast forward and always like calling, like needing advice, needing positivity. So just yeah. needy. needy. But it's yeah. not. General. But you're saying it's totally fine, but it's not totally. Fine. No, it's not, but I mean, yeah, like, I don't want to, but I also don't want to be like, would have been fine. It would have been fine, but then a, p- a very good friend of mine called her a name and a joke. And uh, then she. What was the name? Um, well, I don't want to say, I don't okay, think she's going right. to listen to this because yeah, yeah. I don't have any <laughs> problem with her. And I'm yeah. sure from her perspective, it's different. But at the time, this is why it upset me because. Uh, I'm he's been very good to me and kind to me and her stance on it was if you don't cut him out like we can't be friends yeah, and I yeah, was like yeah. well you're so ha- you're quickly forgetting about like everything I've done for you over the past few right. years and yeah. no I'm not gonna cut him out because <laughs> he's done a lot of good things She's for like, me also I'm in jail right now I need you to bail me out yeah, yeah. <laughs> it um, sounds like, like you uh, have a friend the same narcissist issue you had with this DJ fellow yeah. It's the same you're having with a friend where they, they bleed you dry, but they don't give you anything back. And it's a therapy, it's therapy all session them. with yeah. Santiago. I am in therapy. Yeah. yeah. And I don't think they realize, and I'm sure like this times, because there's even times like where I'd be like uh, looking for advice, maybe about a guy and you could just see their eyes kind of glaze over and I'm yeah. like, okay, well, let's talk more about you. <laughs> 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 um, so, so, and I tend to attract people like that, but I love being hospitable and I love being giving. And so, like with my stepmom, I'll just talk to her about it because I don't like to bitch either because I get I don't want to get in trouble. But she'll be what like, mean, it feels good. It feels bitching? good to give, though. I agree. It feels good to give. Yeah. You know, then you're like, fuck, I'm going to heaven. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe. You're like, I'm doing the right thing right now. Yeah. Well, no more because if I talk to her, she's like a safe space. So I can be like, because you want to be reasonable and be like, I don't want to, I'm trying to look at this from my perspective, but like my stepmom's very good at like looking from both and yeah. being like a good, and then it's like a trusting place. I'm not just like bitching to friends where I can get back to the person. But um, yeah, so we were just talking about this yesterday because I had it happen to me again with another friend who was like very negative. Yeah. And I was literally just had, had asked me to do something. I had to get up early to do it and that's totally fine. Again, it would be fine, but they said they were going to treat me to something as a thank you. And I thought, oh, like the past few months, I felt like it's a lot of me. So this is yeah. really nice. And then they never did. Yeah. And then when I brought it up, they got mad at me. They were like, I'm just busy right now. And I was like, okay yeah. and that's again fine but when i talked to my stepmom i was like i just feel like people take advantage was it like of this me. in ireland with your friends in ireland or is this an american thing that you're um finding? there was a friend in ireland who cut me out when they were upset that i had a boyfriend and wasn't spending enough time with them but we were like childhood best friends and they were pretty giving like their family were really good to me and stuff like that so you know i probably was not like spending enough time with her so no i think it's more of a thing here to be honest irish people are pretty like good with like um like you know fighting over the bill and like they're yeah. very like and uh, americans are like me 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 americans me. are like you pay it <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's I, your know, fucking I don't know like an irish people have their other but it's been a thing i've noticed a bit more here maybe uh um yeah so I don't know, but I do. You think? Do you think it's you? Do you think you're too nice and maybe you give too too readily and yeah. people take advantage of that? Yeah, and I yeah. have to. I mean, you're on this podcast, yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I've been like trying to think of it more, and I know that's a horrible thing, but to think of it as transactional, like if I haven't got the energy and I haven't got, and this is going to be affect my my men, like my po- taking away my positivity. I don't, if someone's just going to keep you, like I need to just pull back and be like, okay, actually, I'm busy today, or. Mm-hmm. Like I'm probably too giving because in the end it only upsets me. It sucks. It sucks to have your default be cold. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just like okay, we're starting out cold, and then if I realize that you're a person that's gonna give back, then I will warm up to you. Well, no, and I don't want to do that either. I'll still be warm, but I'm just not gonna go out of my way anymore unless it's like, um, or I don't mind going out of my way, but not for as long, not as for long as long, or for like negative people who are just like kind of draining your energy, or there's just like so many problems. And I get that everybody has problems. We all have problems. Yeah. I can't be a therapist and I can't be, I can be there for you, but you also have to remember that I am there for you Yeah. and people in general. And like, even with my boyfriend now, I've noticed that my default was cold with him because I was this DJ. super giving with a lot of coming guys. coming off of a DJ when you're like, this guy yeah, is going to fuck well, was, And I came off a couple of guys. I had, yeah. a, I had a stalker that time at your show. What happened with that? What's the story there? What, what show? Oh, I was Our doing a show. show. I couldn't even post about it because there was this guy like turning up to shows and stuff. It was fine. The police sorted it. It was great. What happened? Um, I was like, he, what happened exactly? He kind of met, found me on a, I did like a live for a dating site. Um, so he was a bit loopy and then he got all my social medias and he just kept contacting me and no wow. matter what I blocked, he would come back. The way back you describe, oh, we got a bit loopy. There's a stalker situation. It's dangerous. You're calling the police and he's like, oh, he's a little bit loopy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I try not to like, I think that's Irish thing too is well. like someone could be judge. stabbing you and you're like, mm. well, you know, yeah. you're always like, it's fine. It's you're grand. Like, Listen, he had he's a hard childhood. Me. Did he approach yeah. you? What happened? He approached me at Eastville. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that was it. He just, w- what's the vibe of a stalker? Well, he was like really intense and like, he was like demanding my attention and, and the same. And like, I was with seeing someone at the time. So we like left together, but it was like, he didn't even care about the guy. It was just like, and he was like grabbing my arm and stuff, Whoa! but it was in his head. We have a relationship. Okay. So yeah. yeah all right. He didn't, yeah. it, this wasn't odd to him. You he know, a me, bit loopy. Yeah. Well, he <laughs> gave me a note when he, cause, uh, the guy at the time was like, we're leaving. And then he gave me a note. He was like, just read this when you're gone. When I read it said, I knew about Bitcoin because of, and it said this thing. But like, it's so Wait, cool. what thing? It's got to like be a, so like weird. You're, or you're like yeah. part of someone's rabbit hole. You yeah. know what I mean? Like he's got these delusions about Bitcoin in his head. And in his head, Wait, he's wh- also got you. Hold on. He was like 50 as well. What yeah. did he know about Bitcoin? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it was very childish writing. Yeah. And then so. I was in a crayon. <laughs> well, well, come well, with, me, come with me if you want to make Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Should I stop p- using that pickup line? Yeah. <laughs> Just slipping girls' notes. Oh. Yeah. And he made like different Instagram pages. So every time I would block one, and it would be like literally within an hour, I would block one in an hour, there'd be another one. But wow. it, one of them was called The Last of the Irish Roses. Yeah. And which was very creepy. But every message he would sign with a rose. So yeah. like the police were like, because I was like, I don't want to make a big deal about it, but I am a bit nervous, especially since he turned up to a show and I'm very yeah. public. 
and they were like no fuck this cre-. like the guy who was yeah. looking after it was like I'm fucking sick of these creeps and women should be allowed to be public and yeah. now you can't feel safe the fucking roses that's fucking creepy yeah. <laughs> I was like yeah okay yeah. but he dealt with it because well, the guy emailed me after your show yeah um he was like, first of all, those two hosts were amazing. <laughs> 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 they were genius, and I would like to start stalking them well. As he well. didn't come to your show because I hid it, yeah. but I had hidden a whole week's worth of shows, and he kept, and I kept blocking, and then he emailed me being like, if you don't want me to come to your shows, because I guess he was like obviously onto that, um, blo- I just want to be blah, 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 but he had his real email address, so then we had his real name and everything. So, oh, wow. Oh, what a fucking yeah. amateur. But that's why I mean, he <laughs> believes there's a relationship. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. And that was fine that was like you know six months or seven months ago back in katie we have a special guest for you today (laughs) come on in yeah Yeah. but um yeah so with my boyfriend now i'd come off that and then i was seeing some other guy and he was like i don't want a relationship and i really liked him so i just wanted to have fun and i met this irish guy and i just had sex with him but he just kept texting me and kept being like, and I was like, I don't want to again. He kept being like, why? Yeah. But sex is so much fun. And eventually I like blocked him on Instagram and mm-hmm. then he left me a voicemail and I was like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. So by the time I met my guy, I was a little like, I'm just not giving any right, energy to right. men. So he was so good to me and he's definitely given me more than yeah. what I've given him in regards to, he's like so kind and helpful. It took me like a, a like at least a month to kind of warm up to it and be like, oh, okay, I'm in. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah. I want to know what happened with this stock. What did the police do to him? I don't know. I didn't ask. They just said we're going to look after it. And that was it. I didn't hear from did the, the guy again. So. Did any of the cops hit on you? No. Wow. We got to fucking file a report. I can't believe these guys. Well, it was just yeah. on the phone. So. I, oh, all right. Oh. <laughs> well, one, well, one you guy was You can still do it. There. You can still do it. Well, uh, I did get hit on by another cop one time when I got my phone robbed. Oh, yeah? What was it? How, how did I went go? there and I was like crying because I was so stressed out because it was an iPhone. It was robbed in my hand. You find your phone. Here's my number on it. <laughs> well, he came up to me and I had just been like looking at all these like, they're trying to show me like, who could it be? Show me 200 people. I'm like, I don't fucking they're know. They're all black. Um, <laughs> there were a lot of yeah. <laughs> oh, no. unfortunate. Unfortunately. Oh no! Yeah, don't make it real. <laughs> They're like, which one of these black guys well, was it? Well, yeah. it was also you're just like it was in Greenpoint. <laughs> it was probably a Polish guy. Well, yeah. it was actually uh, on the Upper East Side. So, <laughs> wow, well, yeah. <laughs> Give me your cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, the guy rubbed out my phone right in my hand. But um, the policeman who another policeman came up out of nowhere because I I guess when I went mm-hmm. in and I was like talking to all the police and we were kind of laughing because they were laughing at me being like, what side of the road? And I was like, I don't fucking no they were like left or right and i was like i don't know and then i go i go i'm from ireland and they go it's still this sa- either left or right and i was like yeah. never mind and then he came up to me afterwards and he was like i'm not your detective on this case but if you ever need anything or if you ever want to just like grab a beer here's my card oh Ooh. my god does that make you feel safe or unsafe um uh, like i know that the answer should be unsafe but it i had been crying and there was mascara all over my face so it made me feel yeah. good every time i every time every nice. time i get robbed to go to the cop i was like so thanks for doing this you want to grab a beer sometime yeah, yeah. and they go no every time time yeah yeah i get no offers yeah you're, you're quickly draining your bank account buying iphone 12s yeah. to go <laughs> hit on the fucking cops at the you're precinct walking around being like, Rob me. you're like yeah. hello officer <laughs> <laughs> you're mad at me it's like jesus christ dan take it easy i'll yeah. wear a costume if you want me to right yeah so do you think that's a scam when friends but it's ha- okay uh, here's the other thing it's hard because you don't want to say I mean, to friends like i do this i do that because you I shouldn't do stuff i think it's just somebody you're... being I a piece of shit to you okay. and i think some people yeah. are just pieces of shit and i don't think that's a scam i think that's them being a piece of shit i think a, d- a scam needs a certain <laughs> level of self-awareness yeah. like if this person is just a selfish per- person and is does not possess the self-awareness to realize they're just draining you and giving nothing then it's not a scam yeah but if they're thinking in their head katie is the type of person where i can take from her and i don't have to give yeah. anything and that's why I hang out with her, then you're being scammed. Yeah, and I never thought that, especially with like uh, a lot of people. I don't think it's that. I think they are just going through a really hard ta- time, and I like to help people. People so. are deeply narcissistic in this city. Like People mm. really only fucking think about themselves. They do sometimes. Especially in our field. Yeah, well, I've even had that sometimes with comedians being like, and I love comedians, and I have like a like a smaller following than a lot of people, so it's not like I need them to share anything. But I like come on, that. Katie, size doesn't matter. Well, my p- <laughs> my point is it's this: it's the color. It's everybody knows it's the color of the wallpaper. <laughs> it's the that's, the, that's the one thing that everybody. It's the motion of the audience. I yeah. mean, well, my small my <laughs> no, following still is, is small what? compared yeah. to like Karen <laughs> Bean or something. Right. But let's say like let's say on Instagram, I'll have friends or people message me. Or not friends, but I've had 
I've definitely oh. had people be like, hey, um, like you didn't comment on, or like, hey, is this video good? And I'll be like, yeah, it's great. And then 10 minutes later, I'll be like, hey, you haven't commented on it yet. And I'm like, okay. And then they're like, will you share it? You never share my stuff. And I'm like, okay. But I'm also like, I'm happy to do that. But this, this said people would never share my stuff. And that's totally fine. Right. But it's like, why would you ask? Okay, right. no, I keep saying it's totally fine, but I don't want to say I expect <laughs> anything. But yeah, I yeah, just, yeah. I never ask because I never expect people but to do it's it. it's totally fine is now for me the Irish code of it is not okay. <laughs> it's not okay. Yeah, I'm not okay with this well, at all. Like, like, let's say, for example, Tori Piskin. She's one of my best friends. Whoa. Whoa. Shots fired. Goose, 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 goose. No. Best friend oh, breakup. No. Friendship no. over. More. Friendship destroyed. No, I was going to say that she's <laughs> very kind. Sound effect. <laughs> Tori destroyed. Red hair everywhere. Can you let me finish? I was going to say, she's <laughs> Looks very like we got the clip. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 I can tell her because I love her so much. My point is, she's very kind with in, in all these terms in our yeah. in our fr- We've been friends for over six years and, and she that's will totally just okay. automatically yeah. share my stuff, okay? And because yeah. she has, and she's a big following right, and she's right, so right. supportive. Right, and right, And she'll right, be like, right. oh, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't ask you to like, totally. or, or if, she has a problem she'll call and talk about it but then she'll be like and how are you how's things going and it's like that or, or if i'm like hey this kind of bothered me or if she's like this kind of bothered we're able to talk about those things and it's never it's never one-sided yeah um and that's what i and it's like she could have shared two of my clips that week and i might have forgotten to share hers but she's not like hello and yeah. then i'll be like oh shit i better share, share some stories but we're not asking each other we're just being good to each other right yeah it's also it's like because you're having to have to worry about a career based on attention you become very it's hard not to become petty. Yeah. You know, like I shared my thing. You just like, who gives a fuck if you yeah. fucking press the button on a phone? Well, and I don't mind, but it's and the, the, t- the times I'm thinking about, it's just certain people who've yeah. done it multiple times. Right. And who've been like, hey, will you share this? Katie, name names. No. Let's and it. it's let's, totally burn, let's burn some fucking bridges. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. totally let's fine because party. I've built my following yeah. myself. I don't really need them to share right. it. And I'm sure they see that. But it's like, it would be nice. It would be nice yeah. to support. Or people who've asked me to do my show. Hey, I don't book it that much. But the same people will ask multiple times. Times. Um, and like I your w- live show or your podcast? Um, the live show. Yeah. And and then or being like, I really need to run this and just again, I'm gonna do that. But then yeah. it's like this I've had that show for six years. Yeah. And then there's been people who I had to get a audition tape recently and I remember reaching out to someone and being like, Is there any chance? And they were like, We actually don't have room tonight and I needed it that week. Yeah. And I was like Ooh. it mm. was and it was Brutal. just Yeah, and it's like you know, it's like again, just remember that I've done a free and I'm right. again I would I wasn't doing it for that but it's like I've I, I like I've had people ask multiple times to do spots and then have a show and, and never think yeah. to book me yeah. right right and I'll still book them your show was ask. a good show yeah. yeah can I have a spot on it <laughs> <laughs> of course not now though because I literally only booked three people and I booked it I have October I have 50. an audition tape right yeah well exactly up. but if you did have an audition tape I would squish you yeah. in a hundred part of me and Lindsay have America's cut time. doesn't have talent yeah. well me and Lindsay have cut our own time to squish in people who had audition tapes because right. that's what you do yeah, yeah. Um, you're very nice, Katie. You're you, you lived here six years. You're still seven years. Seven. You're still yeah. this nice. I don't believe it. I think you. <laughs> well, got I, a, sound, I hope I don't sound bitter. I think you, you not got learned bodies. anything about New York City. Tell people to go fuck themselves. Yeah, I think. Uh, uh, I think you got bodies in the wall. I think uh, you're hiding something. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. want to. I want to give you. I want to take you on a lesson where we yeah. go around New York and we just tell people to go fuck yeah. themselves. Yeah. But I find when somebody asks you for a dollar, you give it to them, right? No, no, because <laughs> I, I don't have any money. That's where I draw the line. I have no money. No, when it comes to I making like difference in week. people's lives, oh. no, 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 I cut. So the, I draw the line. All there. you have no. to do is imagine when somebody's asking you for anything, put a dollar value on it, and think about how poor yeah. you are. Yeah, and just That's be like, God, true. I am so fucking poor. Yeah, time is money. Yeah, exactly. time is money. Yeah, That's what you say. Therapy. <laughs> how much would a therapist charge for this shit? Yeah. Well, can I make this like a bit about sexism too? In Let's regards fucking to do it. Let's yeah. party. Okay, go because I find as a woman in favor of men or women well i feel like for a woman if you're <laughs> direct or yeah. kind of like mm-hmm. no or whatever mm-hmm. you're a bitch yeah, yeah so you have to be very careful but yeah. i even find when i work with guys at the bar sometimes i want to be like that's like they'll be like no i don't want to do it that way and it's not a great but i'll have to be like okay well what do you think this would be because if you're like no that's dumb too I've just think I've noticed men get away easier yeah. being like or having I've had men I've worked with at bars just storm out of the bar have like a fan we would call it a funny attack and a yeah. funny is a vagina see I just went and blamed it on vaginas I right. had a yeah but like they had like a fucking meltdown right. they storm out and I just don't think though women have that leeway or not because if she does that she's crazy or if right. she's Let direct she's a bitch it feels 
pretty good to be able to have a fanny attack <laughs> every once in a while. Yeah. I had one the other day. It was I delicious. mean I was I was it was delicious. I it was, was so super good. embarrassed the next day. I felt like I had got I felt like I had gotten drunk and like made a yeah, scene. Yeah. You know I was like God. Where was did like, you have your fanny attack? When I was uh, uh, I was shipping packages for a friend. It was Hold on, wait. Fanny attack means like a, a like. A meltdown, uh, uh, but like just a temper like tantrum, a temper also. Tantrum. Yeah, yeah, not necessarily just like a nervous meltdown, right? No. Oh, you had a nervous meltdown. Yeah. Well, there wasn't. A, well, you didn't throw a temper tantrum. More a temper tantrum. I was a very temper tantrum. I was kicking oh, yeah. the wall and screaming "fuck" at, at, at our friend's apartment. No, in the lobby. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, uh, it was right in the middle of the storm. Yeah. Uh, I just and, blame you. And I had to go all the way to Flatbush. Well, he's uh, had this lifelong fantasy of uh, 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 drinking sewage. <laughs> and yeah. then the one day that he gets to, he has to get called into work. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, God damn it, I was supposed to drown today. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I was going to kill myself in this basement yeah. by God, you know? <laughs> oh, that's why? Because of the basement flooding? Um, yeah, uh, it flooded. Yeah, yeah, no, it flooded. But um, no, this was before. This was the same day. I was supposed to mail some packages. I got caught right in the middle of the storm. I go up. I'm absolutely soaking wet. And then I realize that I forget my keys. And oh. it's over an hour to get there and back. Oh. It's in the middle of the storm, torrential yeah. storm, and there's no way I can get into the guy's apartment yeah. or get into the basement where I need to ship these packages. Yeah. And um, uh, I just had, ins- I just called him. I started screaming at him, yeah. even though he didn't do anything. <laughs> I mean, I forgot Who? the keys. Tiago. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, what the fuck? There's no fucking keys. What the fuck am I supposed to do? He was like, that's not my, I gave yeah. you the keys. That's not yeah, my yeah, yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I start flipping. I was like, oh, I know it's not your fault. You know, uh, and he's like, just do it tomorrow. Then I hung up the phone. And then I realized I still had to go back in a monsoon. And uh, uh, and I was waiting for it to get better. It just kept on getting worse. And then yeah. I just started screaming, fuck, as loud as I could in the library. Yeah, and, like, just yeah. Punching, animal. Punching, so think, punching and kicking, punching yeah. and kicking the wall. And the, <laughs> the concierge was there. was like, dude. Yeah, we're like this. I'm here. This you white can't do boy. that here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was just uh, the next day I woke up. I was very embarrassed. It's like I got drunk oh. and whipped my dick out, and I had yeah. to like like yeah, yeah. apologize. I was like, I'm sorry. I called my you friend. You lost control. Yeah, yeah. Hissy fit. So to to Katie's point, women can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. You gotta be always so con- fucking controlled. Yeah. yeah. If I saw that, I'd be like, women be tripping. Well, here's the thing, too. I do. I'm going to go into psychology with it. I wonder as well, because women can't do that as much like you can't as a woman punch a wall and a guy in a night. Oh, you get sticky punches as well. It's fine. And I know we're telling guys not to do that anymore and to cry more, but whatever. Does that you you twitch your eye when you said that? Is yeah. That because you find it hot when men do that. And no, you, I don't you know. Wish I just they have would an eye twitch more. sometimes. <laughs> I, I have no it. idea uh, the intention behind that uh, eye twitch, uh, uh, but it was definitely there. Apparently, definitely I just something. have like an eye roll that I do sometimes. Yeah. People point it out all the time. I don't know what it means. <laughs> I see. But I do think, and then I wonder if when women are in relationships or they're like have a chance to argue with something, someone is that why they're like like I've even found myself. Like yesterday with uh, Leland, I got mad at him for something I would never get mad with anybody else. And it's really not his fault. And it was, well, I was locked in my apartment for 45 minutes and he was uh, not able to, he didn't answer the phone to show me how to do it because there's like a trick and him and Sam know how to do it. But I don't know how to do it. And he didn't answer his phone. I only called him once. So, but I was like so mad. And then uh, I eventually got in and then this morning he was like oh sorry i was just i was i thought it was because he was playing settlers guitar but it was actually just because um <laughs> that would make me so mad <laughs> if i was Don't locked out of play. a place because of a video game no, yeah it's well a board game. i guess it's a board oh, game okay yeah. well and he's so great with everything else like he basically moved my whole apartment so i do have to remember that he's done a lot for me in this past week and it was his first night with his friends stop reminding yourself to be grateful well, yeah. I, I mean, in this one situation, he's the one person I probably shouldn't bite their head off. But when he texts me today, being like, oh, I couldn't because he was like, I was too, I was just too drunk to take a phone call because I wanted to video time him. I just snapped. I was like cursing at him. And I was like, well, I called, called him and I was like, you fucking too fucking drunk. What should I not call you when you're with your friends? And he was like, no, I'm sorry. And I was like, I was like, my arm is sore now and I couldn't get in. And he was like, that's also not my fault, though. Right. And he is right. It's not his fault that I can't get into the apartment. Right. And it's not. But he knows how to fix it. He, he just he knows how to wiggle it properly. But I just don't know how to wiggle it. Did you text him? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that's he was the just whole out of point. It. Is, yeah. He wasn't. He available. just was out of it. Yeah. He was that wasted that he couldn't pick up a phone and. <clears throat> 
All right. That's what he says. <laughs> well, <laughs> now I'm going to go fight one of my guys. You're sowing division in their relationship. <laughs> yeah. Is that yeah, what you're yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was so wasted. Yeah. <laughs> he was so I drunk. Know, he fucking was, cock he drunk. Guys. Yeah. He was so sucking their dicks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he was so wasted on <laughs> yummy cum. He's like, I was going to answer the phone, but uh, my mouth was full, honey. Well, yeah. he wasn't wasted. <laughs> you you a little bit. I don't, well, okay, I w- didn't want to say this on the podcast because I don't know nice. if he tells people, but yeah. um, I'm sure it's fine because you guys, it's oh, weed, he, weed is legal. He was too high. That was it. Oh, and he right. doesn't smoke it a lot and he knows that right. I'm not very perceptive. I don't, I'm not a big fan of weed. So that's really? why he, I don't think he wanted to answer and be like, oh my God, I'm too high. I don't know why in my head I give him a little bit more of a pass because he was high. Yeah. Well, I, sh- I just said drunk, but then I remembered where this country if and he, it's if legal. If he, get, if he gets, if he got high and he never gets high and he looks at his phone, he might be like, oh, I can't He handle. never gets high. Yeah. That's he, like, he just and couldn't I'm, handle anything. He probably thought I was going to freak out at him because I'm very, I'm not pro drugs. I'm like, you do what you want and you smoke weed. I would rather date someone who doesn't smoke it a lot because I've dated a guy who was just like wow. out of it the whole time really wow. was it the dj no no it's this guy <laughs> in ireland okay yeah, so. but weed is not that big of a fucking deal. no it's not and i wouldn't have i wouldn't have cared i would have been just like show me how to wiggle this thing because oh. i literally had tennis elbow so from it from 45 minutes of wiggling so around. this is actually your you being judgmental coming back to bite you in the ass you being judgmental of other people's habits Right, you made him feel self self conscious of, yeah, of, no, of, of if, whether he could open up not, about his drug no, usage. No, 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 I'm busting your balls. No, I, but I, I, am, really I am. No, but I am serious <laughs> about this. Do you ever find that you just say something like one day you'll be like, "I'm not a big fan of ketchup," and then all of a sudden they'll never bring ketchup, and you're like, "I just said I'm not yeah. a big fan. I like it so." And then you eat it in a burger once, and like, thought you hate ketchup, and you're like, "I just said <laughs> once." So once I just said, to him, "Well, well, well," all but I said, isn't Miss Ketchup? Yeah. All I said <laughs> was I would prefer to date someone. Yeah. Well, all I said was I prefer to date someone who didn't smoke a ton of weed. I don't mind it every once in a while. And then obviously when he was high last night and it's his first, first time in like five months smoking it or something, he was like, oh, she's going to kill me. And it's like, yeah. I just said that casually once. I, I would be, f- everybody smokes weed, so it's fine. I just, I would personally prefer if it wasn't every night. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Because when you guys, when people smoke it every night and they're just on different, you're like, hello, how are you? And they're like, huh. Yeah, yeah they're like, baked out of their fucking yeah. minds. Yeah. And you're like, I can't you have a conversation with you. You have to just go bat their dick around until it gets hard. <laughs> no. <laughs> Entertain yourself. Like a, no? like a cat. It's the worst. It's the fucking worst, man. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You train the cat to do it. You just point the laser at the guy's <laughs> cock so that he'll get your boyfriend hard so that you can fucking. Honey, could you please decaw the cat if we're going to do that? in your ass. Yeah, yeah you gotta do you're that. exactly. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, I already have fucking dog. HPV, all right? I don't even w- open sores on your dick and whatever <laughs> else you've got. <laughs> Carry it in there, you fucking drug addict. Yeah. Um, Katie, was that, uh, did you have any more scam stuff? I had a boyf. Okay. Let's hear I it. wanted to ask you a question, because are, are you still a bartender? Yeah, just two or one day a week. Where at? Okay. Alewife, um, if you're a stalker, oh. don't come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Wait, don't, don't, okay, that's that a bleep. brewery yeah, where that's a you bleep do the right show. There. You just... <laughs> You go on for ten minutes about a stock you have, and they're like, "Here's <laughs> here's where I work." Like, um, but that- what's your address for our fans? I don't know, but yeah, no, I just do one or two days there, um, so it's not a lot of money. But I also do the Patreon podcast. Yeah, well, so that's I'm great. Kind of just floating, just head above. Eyes above water. Yeah. yeah. Um, you making fun of my recently flooded basement? No, <laughs> not at all. It's a micro. I just don't feel like my head's above it. I feel yeah, like I'm. I, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. I'm <laughs> You're trying to cuck Dan. You're making him jealous <laughs> of the idea of you drowning. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Dan's um, like, oh fuck! Tell um, me more how you can't breathe. My question is, is that you must get a bunch of people trying to rip you off somehow working at a bar where there's booze floating. People around never try to walk out on the fucking tab or right. give you fake money. Well, someone gave someone fake money, but it wasn't me. There was recently like a really bad fake hundred, but I didn't take it. But kind of think this was like drawn on. It was really bad. Yeah. It had sellotaped taped part of it on. It's like fucking Rosa Parks, and, <laughs> and you're like, like, "What like, the fuck?" And they're like, "What are you stew? fucking racist? <laughs> huh? You don't think Rosa Parks believe it belongs on a one hundred dollar bill? It's a it's a piece of uh, lettuce with like Washington on it. Yeah. You're like, it's not even the right president. Guy. Right. And they're yeah. like, Katie, was this you? I was like, I don't even fucking work weekdays, but they automatically went yeah. to the immigrant. And I was like, yeah. I don't even work. Weekdays. Monopoly is a game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. No, no, scam, not really, because I did get scammed once where a guy brought in a, f- a fake 20 and he ordered bacon and I gave yeah. him $17 change. Just bacon? He just ordered bacon. That's hilarious. And then he just went... W- Bacon's left, $3? Left with the... At the time, this is a different bar I worked in, and uh, he left with the $17 and then the 20 was fake. That's the way How to How was do your it? breakfast? That's it was great, man. Got some bacon, made $17. But he didn't even wait for the bacon. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, he just walked in. Just and then the I was like, balance. oh, I've been scammed. Oh. Yeah. What did you eat the bacon? He had a, like so. Um, he he <laughs> eat the bacon wait, and sulk upon your. Well, he <laughs> he had a nose that was uh, like sewed on, but it was a different color skin to the rest of his face. I'm you sorry. You can never trust those guys. Wait, hold on. <laughs> what? 
Yeah. Like so he, had he had surgery? Like a, he had like, like a, plastic surgery like or white, like a mask? A, a white nose sewed onto his black face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should have called the cops. I, like, can you describe wait, him? He's like, well, a, he had a nose that was <laughs> sewn on. That was a different color. It was a black dude with a white nose. Yeah, I'll never yeah. forget it. This is Michael Jackson who you're describing. Yeah. Well, I never did it. I met somebody can woohoo. And then he moonwalked out and we never caught him. He had a little chimp with him. <laughs> Bubbles, let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was yeah. So I know, I don't know why. He's Keep so the bacon. Yeah. I don't eat so meat, stupid. <laughs> okay, so he. So, so I was scammed. That that was a, that's a legit scam. Yeah. And then what happened? What was the fallout? Uh, it's the old, ba- it's the old bacon like, switch. Le- they were like, from now on, let's mark our 20s as well, because apparently a lot of 20s were getting yeah. around. Uh, this was in Ireland? No, Upper East Side. Upper East Side, I- uh, Dublin? <laughs> <laughs> no, America. <laughs> There's no Upper East Side. I'm trying to think about their scams. Um, well, I had, a, I had a couple of, because I've, uh, I've, I've now made a little checklist that I can ask people. Oh, oh I yeah. did. I was scammed last week, but my <laughs> bank Question declined one. it. Oh yeah, what I happened? To, I actually just had to get a new credit card what happened? because you do the U.S. postal address. I just moved, and I just clicked on the first one, but it's actually it. It's all look the same except for it's mailmoving.com. So I didn't even notice, and they charged my card eighty-seven dollars. But my card automatically went. This is weird, and declined it. And they're they're sending me a new credit card. So I've. I've but where where did this happen? Like you got an on email. The internet. You got an email. Well, I, I it was me. I told the bank it wasn't me. Of course, but it I was feel, on the I internet. Mail moving, mail moving. Well, Wait. I thought it was UPS. Wait, hold on. But you thought. So uh, when you move address, you can do mail forwarding so that it oh. saves any mail that's been on the yeah. way going. Oh, to so the you wrong went address. to a fake mail forwarding service. <sighs> That's so fucking awesome that somebody thought to do that. Yeah, but they should, and it's all a copy. Then, it says UPS, but you, then when you, it redirects you to something else. But it's also you go to them because you USPC, think it's whatever. you think it's legit. And so they says, don't even have to fucking find people. People oh, well, just come to them. It's a honeypot. Also, is what we call and it. Also, the the bank or the mail charge you one dollar for doing it. Yeah. So them taking your credit card seems legit. And I even googled it. I was like, does the United Postal yeah. Service? And it was like, yeah. So I put it in. I put yeah. everything in. And then the bank were like, was this you? And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Delete my. You charge eighty-seven dollars to Tony's mail forwarding <laughs> service. Yeah, oh, yeah. God. big Tony's. So mail. I was just lucky yeah. that, my, that <laughs> they. I was did it with my credit card. Yeah. my credit card has. Hey, like I'm a big Tony. This is so my mail you, forwarding you service. Like, oh, someone stole my card, and they're like, "What do they buy? A mail forwarding service? How <laughs> odd! <laughs> <laughs> How queer!" And then them. I went on <laughs> yeah. to Chase and changed my <laughs> mail, right. yeah. na- my address. Exactly. They yeah. were like this dumb cow. Yeah. But anyway, so that was that. Okay, That's go cool. on. You have questions. I have a question. All right. Well, the first one was money stolen or have you ever stolen money? No, I've had money stolen. You've never stolen money? Never. You've ne- have you ever stolen anything? No. Hmm, interesting. Oh, well, I've stolen things from work, but I don't count that as stolen. That's stealing? Yeah. <laughs> no, not okay. my job now, but I've had jobs where they didn't pay me correctly, so it's my just a justice system. So not paying, getting paid correctly. No, no, we're not asking how you justify <laughs> stealing no, when you steal. We're asking if you, correctly, if you I'm steal. I'm stealing a glass. I've, t- <laughs> I've had customers before be like, I really like that glass and I've really hated the job and I've been like, you should take it. Yeah. And they take it. That's nice. Well, that's aiding and abetting. Yeah, well, even, you know, they should pay their staff right. Even the way you steal is helping other people. It's <laughs> yeah. just giving, giving too much. <laughs> all right. You and then they I leave and they're like, Katie, where are all the glasses? And you're like, I don't know. And they all right, Jesus of stealing. You're like, right. I stole a bunch of fish for people. <laughs> I stole a bunch of bread for people. Or I tell them I'm stealing it. So like my job now, it was really cold and I wanted a sweater. And they were like, you get 15% off. And I was like, this one's dirty, so I'm just going to steal it. And they were oh. like, okay. I, I don't know if Doesn't I consider count. that stealing. Yeah, 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 yeah if, if you're like, I'm going to steal it and they say, okay, yeah. Then I guess t- so. Then so I haven't stolen. I haven't stolen you. anything from this job because I love them. Um, and I would always just ask. I'd be like, "Can I take home a glass?" They'd be like, "Yeah." They are like, and I've worked with them for five years. This was a job when I first moved over, and they weren't paying properly. So I like, well, I stole how were they not glass. paying properly? What happened? Um, they were taking all of the tips and then pooling them out to everybody. So a lot of my tips, but and I would make good tips. But that's that's kind of a normal practice. No, in no, certain no, no. Places, that's, right? that's fine. I don't mind yeah. pooling. Sorry, but they were pooling it out with everybody. So yeah. like e- even people who were just on the back, all mm. equal. Yeah. The customers. You were making no money. Yeah. Um. So I was making like three hundred dollars a week for five yeah. shifts. It was crazy. Whoa. Yeah, that's shitty. Yeah. That yeah. So and they were like, well, it's fair because what if you're on the and then they started rotating people so people would do the the desk thing. But then the people who are, when you're actually working on the desk part, you're getting more money hourly. It was just very shady, the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, There's yeah, also yeah. some people are good at getting tips. And they were overstaffed. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. White women, getting, that's yeah, who yeah. gets tips. And that's what they found. Not, is they're yeah, like, yeah, you know white women saying? get all the tips. No, no, yeah. I'm sure you, with a foreign accent, serving people yeah. dreams, got 
tipped like crazy. Yeah. And then you were subsidizing some fucking yeah. Yeah, they think dude. it's like some Ellis Island tragedy. I don't, like, this I don't, fucking <laughs> poor girl. I Give her a fucking America. 20. Why do you have an Italian accent? And, and I don't I don't mind pooling tip, uh, tips if you're all bartenders or if someone's cleaning and yeah. stuff. But it was just, it was too many people to pool it with. Yeah. And then we just wasn't enough tips. And then I just felt like we weren't being paid properly. And I just, yeah. I just, ugh, I just was like, nah. So I stole the cup. Yeah. Oh well, while wow, you got them, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and I poisoned them. I, I, I poisoned them. Like, yeah. I feel like no. stealing the cup was more for you emotionally. Yeah. Right. And it is as a sense of like, well, I took something and they took something, but yeah, really, every time I've stolen before, I've told it. I've been like, I'm t- I'm taking this jar of sauce, and they're like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever not stolen out of anger? No. Like. So it's a vengeful steal. Oh yeah, I've never stolen, really stolen, really by that cup that yeah. time, and yeah. it was like, I'm sure if they had a, it would have been fine. Trying to think how I ever no. I remember my friend when I was small being like steal chewing gum, and I was like no. Have you ever been uh, tricked? You felt like you were tricked. Tricked. Yeah. Tricked into doing something you didn't want to do. Yeah, I guess so. Like unprotected sex. All right. Well, next no. question. What a scam! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the guy said he was wearing a condom and he yeah. wasn't. Well, Bastard. I think you got two twins. You're like, what a scam, man. <laughs> I was tricked. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a that's a pretty uh, um. Yeah, heavy yeah. <laughs> trick. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Next That's a pretty loose usage of the word I trick. Yeah. I don't think I've been tricked another way. Your Honor, really? he tricked well, me. Bar like pranks and stuff that my dad or brothers or sisters would yeah. play. It sounds like first degree trickery. What kind of pranks me. would your parents play on you? Um, my dad does stuff all the time. He would tell me stuff were true and they weren't true. Like when I was younger, he told me if you had a hairy hand, <laughs> I love you. you're crazy. <laughs> so I thought men were all crazy. Yeah, yeah uh, Maybe that was just his way of getting you not to get knocked up. Right, he was like, you know, people with hairy know. hands no, are out of their mind. Funny. He's just oh, he just like, thinks he it's just funny. Makes shit up. And then, like, my sister called me the other day, being like, "Dad makes shit up, and it's so believable that she goes and tells people, and then she finds, and it's true because he did that to Your me." Your younger sister, yeah. the same one yeah. with the <laughs> yeah. But you gotta be cubes. like, our dad died ten years ago. <laughs> no. Who are you talking to? Yeah. yeah. No. Such what? Um, he he just he's just like a big prankster, but he forgets to tell you that it's a prank. So then you go around with these like fictitious stories I telling would, people. I would like to hear more if you have any more. I'm trying to think of exactly what he does. Your like father's pranks. Uh, oh well, we him and my stepmom once put like a dirty nappy from one of my brothers. It was just a diaper. A dirty diaper yeah. into th- so their friend kept talking about how their new car was so great and how their new car smelled so good and the new car smell and they, she didn't stop about it. So my dad and my stepmom thought it'd be funny to hide a dirty diaper that's excellent your dad sounds great yeah. i love your dad and then the girl had to drive home four hours and she was calling me like i can't get the smell of fucking the, the, the yeah. place you were staying out of my fucking car <laughs> wait did she she hadn't found the diaper she didn't find it the wow. whole way home yeah and they were just laughing my dad and my stepmom do lots of stuff like that they they like they're that's great <laughs> go crack or my dad will be like we'll be watching a movie and he'll say he's going to the toilet but he'll come around and then like throw himself up against the window and scare the shit out of you like a horror movie yeah. or like love actually your dad <laughs> sounds great your dad <laughs> like, sounds yeah, great. He's great yeah, yeah. a lot of fun yeah really meanwhile where's he getting this dirty diaper that's my question well that was when my brothers were small that was like oh no, like he just shit in a diaper to <laughs> commit to the bit he's like, <laughs> he's like oh I she thinks diapers. her car is so great give me that diaper <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it. oh it's like no. oh dad with the pranks <laughs> yeah. no, ew. you don't want to scoop it out of the toilet it's like it ruins the prank yeah, yeah. yeah. it's only funny if it's like this your dad's yeah. very committed to pranks yeah yeah. Nice. yeah or he would get me to stand between a line of ammunition and then like light it and then What's like what ammunition like, like firecrackers fire, like for to l- it it kind of sounds like the first half of Mrs. Doubtfire, <laughs> where it's like you get this goofy dad, and then you realize that the pranks are too far, and he's got to get divorced. Yeah. 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 Well, at the he, w- he they're like bangers, so yeah. you, you do the ammunition, and then it goes underneath your legs, and then they blow up behind you. So he yeah. would just, I, he would be like, stand there, and then he'd light it, and then all of a sudden there'd be like explosions behind me, yeah. or like my grandmother would be like about to say prayer for dinner, and he'd have it all rigged so that the, these fireworks go off. Yeah. So <laughs> In the like, middle of your grandmother's like, prayer, just right before, like as she's about to be like, uh, uh, and then. Heavenly no. Father. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Heavenly Father. And it's like, yeah, he's mental. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, those are wonderful. Yeah. Oh, great. Thank Sounds you. like you got a good dad. Thank you for these. Thank you for these <laughs> he prank he's stories. The best. Yeah. I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky. He's so. What's great. your dad? Is he still at it? Um, I don't know. I don't know. He's kind of busy a lot. He has this new big job, so I don't know. But I haven't been home since last summer. I'm sure he is. Like. Because my sister said he was telling her stuff that she went around telling people and it was all made up. So like what? <laughs> I don't know. I can't is remember. the point that his is like is the payoff when he the your his daughter comes to and him like, and being like what th- that wasn't true and then now, he's like I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like, Does he gaslight you guys? Um, as a joke. Yeah. yeah he'll be like what are you talking about? I didn't say that. <laughs> or he'll be like your sister said and yeah. we're like no she didn't say this. Right. <laughs> 
So he's like a little shit stir, but in a funny way. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good crack. Nice. What's the next question? Do you like the questions? Yeah, I do. Oh, you do? <laughs> All right. I'm trying to figure out prompts. Uh, <clears throat> have you ever been screwed on a contract? Well, I was promised keys for my apartment, and I've been living there four days now, and I don't have a key that works, so I was trapped outside for 45 minutes it's not, yesterday. It's not the kind you can copy? You can make a copy of? We, he gave us a bad key that we made a copy of, so we all have bad keys now. Oh, that's funny. And then that's why you have to learn how to fucking jiggle, jiggle it. it. And, and, and I texted him last night. And I'm after, yeah. You know, I texted him being like, is there anybody? I don't want to buzz the neighbors because yeah. I'm just there. You know, I'm just yeah. new. Is there anybody you know that maybe works late or it yeah. was 1 a.m.? And I've been like trapped outside. Yeah. He just ignored me. So wait, to, car, to wait, call a locksmith. Do you, do you live you with your, you're your boyfriend? No. You live with him? No, no, I live with his best friend. So he has a key. Yeah. So... I mean, Sam, right? Yeah. So Sam has a key, but he wasn't home. And then your Sam's boyfriend, away. He Sam's away. He was a friend's house. Has hired a friend's house, so he couldn't tell you how to open the door. So the issue is that, that, that there's a trick to the key, and there's that you're new, and you just don't know it, it yet. And I eventually, you figure it out? I eventually got it at one point, but then it closed again. And that rage that came out of me was yeah. like, I had to turn around, and I never let my rage go. But yeah. I was just, because it's so embarrassing. And you're more embarrassed that you're not even other people seeing it, but for yourself, because yeah. you're just like, ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're like, why am I doing this? Yeah. So then I was just like, okay i just need to put in the time and it took me another 15 minutes before so this time i held the door so that when it did open it would open and yeah. then i got got it and i was like shit i don't know which why way do go. why do all my door upstairs has a is a finicky Ugh, why are all keys in new york city because landlords none of them are pieces work. of shit pieces that's of the shit. fucking answer they painted the apartment and it's you gotta nice. get it's like you gotta get the fucking key wet um, first yeah yeah, it's yeah like, you gotta fucking you gotta talk dirty it to it yeah you're like you're so big you're so big the keyhole it's like yeah it doesn't even fucking fit the key <laughs> oh, i'm gonna like, stretch out your key? little yeah. fucking springs <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah i start looping i'm like here's like, pubes yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly there you go you're like who's been a bad little keyhole oh i bet you let anybody open you that's huh? what you need you need you need a keyhole with pubes taped yeah. above it yeah yeah nice. but that's landlords are so bad with stuff like that like our apartment is nice and it's great and it, they did a great job at cleaning it up before we moved in but not the keys not the getting but in and out that's a big only part of it us, they've only, and they only gave us one key for the door but there's four locks on it so like where are the other four keys and obviously the last people who live there have those keys because they ever got yeah. new locks secondly when they paint they always just paint over the dirt yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so oh, there's that, like a pube sure. painted sure. into the into the shell yeah, yeah. it's so funny well, well it, it keeps the wall it down. keeps the walls wet no it's, it's not yeah. no it's gonna be it's, it's gonna the gonna lubrication be, yeah it's gonna Come be on, fun. Katie, don't you fucking watch tiktok videos <laughs> boom yeah Ew. Um, uh, yeah, landlords in New York are pieces of shit. They're super yeah. cheap, and it's also every time I've ever been supposed to turn in keys, I half the time I don't do it, and it's like I just have keys. I have keys to a music rehearsal studio. Yeah, uh, I have keys to every other apartment I've lived in. They don't care. You can just yeah. make copies, and unless they have like the special lock that you can't copy, you just have keys to that apartment. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Last night Sam didn't stay there, so I put the 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 latch on. Oh yeah, that doesn't do anything. In fact, oh, that, that that just turns intruders on. You know. Yeah. yeah. yeah, like, Ooh, like, yeah. A little resistance. Fucking latch. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, let me push a little bit harder. Oh. Yeah. We're not not two screws. My yeah. only weakness is I a man know. who does breaking and entering for, uh, for, for for a living. Yeah, yeah. I'm so weak. I can't push this simple screw open. I mean, you want to talk about a uh, uh, a fucking scam? That scam. The idea that the little chain or that a little latch would do anything to prevent anybody. Yeah. You know, it's all completely psychological. It's like well, a placebo. Just, it's, you well might as well just sit in bed and hope nothing happens. But that's better. Right? If it's a placebo, then that's better because sometimes we freak out. But yeah, they have like a little thing, Robert, yeah. where they can just open it. <laughs> yeah. Actually, now that I'm thinking it now, I'm thinking of like a Robert just like, like ch -ch -ch, nope. Yeah. And he just goes yeah. home <laughs> just like, after making all these plans. Well, if you're if you're not a robber, but if you're like a rapist or something, yeah. you want to be as quiet as possible. So if it does open it and you don't have the thing to open it, you're probably just gonna be like, oh, okay, I'll come yeah. back another time. That's why I surround my bed with bubble wrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should do it. that. Yeah. Yeah. You should just put tags all over the floor. Oh my god, we should market put that anti-rapist <laughs> bubble wrap floor. We should yeah. do we should do like an anti-rape Home Alone scenario. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a pan, like a can of paint comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what was I saying oh yeah I was driving up here similar thing I was driving up here because I was in the upstate earlier and then there was just signs on the highway that say uh, drinking and driving is illegal and it's like oh fuck yeah. <laughs> it's just like the, the tiniest well, the tiniest, the tiniest discouragement yeah. They're like, just a reminder Dri yeah. drive sober and you're like yeah. oh fuck yeah. Yeah. right like it's not I feel like that's a wink that'll be like we'll catch you on this road don't do it 
Oh, do you think so? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Drive sober, dot, 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 here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. That's what I kind of mean. That's well, what I mean. Everybody in Ireland and the countryside drinks, drive, drives, and they try to lock down on you it. You want to hear a story? I'll tell you a story. I think you're going to like it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> but if it's just Goldilocks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's three bears, right? This, is, this girl, she's a fucking whore. Let me tell you what, she fucking loves porridge. She's not Let me tell you about whore. this scam. <laughs> no? Yeah. She's sexually comfortable. Oh, she's sexually comfortable with herself. You know what? She's an empowered woman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, Goldilocks goes to the three bears, right? And But they're kinky, so it's, there's three strap-ons. And she's like, oh, this one's too small. And this one's also too small. This third one's also too small. I, uh, Wait, uh, is I regret this a story? This yeah, <laughs> The story. I regret this bit. I regret. And if he regrets the bit. Up. You know it's not good. Yeah. <laughs> he the, loves bits. The point yeah. is, the point is because you see three sizes, and one's supposed to be too big and just right, but to her they're all too small. No, no, no. Because her, her pussy's so loose. We get it. Goldie right. Get it. Gross. Yeah. yeah no, because she's done. so empowered. They're like, oh my god, are also, you empowered? Also, your vagina gets tighter the more sex you have. So actually, the more sex you're having with people, it's not going to be looser. What All whore right. told you that? Relax that with this TikTok, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It was laughs> While TikTok. Leland's been spinning lies, he's yeah. like, oh, your pussy's getting too tight. We're fucking too much. Maybe yeah. I should try it with a man. <laughs> no. Why was he? He was anonymous at the beginning of the episode, and now you're just uh, dropping it. Because she fucking brought his up his name multiple times. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Leland comedy. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, go on anyway. I'm going to be bleeping a lot of names tonight. It's okay. You don't need to bleep his name. I say his name on my podcast. Okay. You He's hear delighted to get an extra follow. You want to hear a story? I mean, I don't know. This is not exactly a scam, but uh, my m- one of my closest friends. Uh, actually, we were not friends in early childhood, but when we became teenagers, we became close friends because he had a car and we would drive around and try to get laid and, and drink together. That's what we did. So, anyways, is from Ireland. His his mother is Irish and his father was Norwegian. It was like a, a family, a shipping family, whatever. Anyways, but he was uh, from Ireland. He was born there. His mom was from Ireland, oh, and he moved here when he was five. Yeah. yeah. So we met in ESL, English as a Second Language. Okay, great. Um, uh, I went on a trip with my ex-wife. Well, she's technically still my wife, but she just asked me for a divorce this week. We don't have time to get into it. I'll, I'll talk about Congratulations. it more later. Yeah, I know. I, so I have, about to, time. I have to get a fucking divorce now. Anyway, so we, we went on a trip uh, with some people, and we thought it was going to be like two couples hanging out. It turned out to be like, uh, what do you guys call it in Ireland? So we went to Dublin and then they had like a little route plan. We went, we're going to go to the Cliffs of Mohair and all this shit. And Galway, I think we wound up in Galway. Uh, We went there, but it was very poorly organized. And then there was like guys on a rager. What do you call it? On the session. They were like four days in. They were like two days up on speed. And then we all took acid and it just turned into this nightmare scenario. But we didn't have a way to get around. And I remember my friend's dad lived in Ireland. So I texted my friend and I was like, hey, does your dad still live in Ireland? He was like, yeah, they bought a house and they have this car. And I was like, could we borrow the car? And he was like, this is where we keep the key. (laughs) So we went and took the car, which was like, it was like open the ice shed, take it. There's a yellow keychain. We took the car. We didn't have insurance. We didn't have licenses to be driving in Ireland. And uh, we were not driving on acid, but... uh, yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> but acid We're, was on on statute both of limitations on right both here. ends of this. Yeah, we we fucking went there to his house. We took the car because my friend said it was fine. He hadn't told his dad. The neighbor called the dad, and and we're driving in Ireland in a stolen car without a license. Uh, eventually, <sighs> so I think this was actually before we took the acid. We went to a little cabin. We took the acid. It kind of like everything fell apart. It, it just got unbelievably tense. Then we were driving back the way back, and we were like, "You guys go ahead. We're gonna stay. We're gonna separate, and we're gonna figure it out." They went on to continue their other like week of 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 fucking session. Uh, we kind of like stayed in the house for a couple of hours, and then we had to find a cab. It was Kill Dysart was the town. Do you know where that is? It's like a tiny little town. We had to find a cab to get to the airport to get to Dublin to get the fuck out of there because we were like, we're done with this. We can't we can't, we can't do this. So we somehow got away with stealing this car, but then we were still stuck in Ireland. So then we go to the pub because it's literally it's one of those towns where it's two pubs and a church and that's it. That's the whole fucking thing. And we're like, how do we get to the airport? How do, can somebody get us to Dublin? And they were like, there's one guy, but you should catch him now because he gets drunk at about two. <laughs> so so like, you have to find him before he gets drunk, and that's the taxi. It's an unofficial taxi. So we go give him. He gives us a ride. We fucking crash in a hostel, and we make it back to Berlin. But anyways, my point was we stole a car in Ireland, <laughs> and it was fine. And nobody noticed. Yeah, nobody noticed. <laughs> well, actually, but you actually the, dropped it back to the, the neighbor. Yeah, we dropped the car back, but we the neighbor... Um, 
uh, called his dad, and his dad was like, I don't know anything about this, but I think eventually he got in contact with me, and he was like, is this Santiago? I was yeah. like, yeah, he was like, from Texas? I was like, yeah, from Texas. He was like, oh, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, whatever. Fucking privilege, man. Holy shit. He was like, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. But, but my friend who was driving the car was from Ireland, and he was like, ah, I mean, these are back roads. You know? yeah. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Anyways, my point being, you you brought up something about Ireland. Well, no, a lot of Irish people drive drive drunk. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, and it's like something they've tried to crack down on. Right, um, but it's still fun. I love. It's just I Irish love people love it so much. Well, two of my friends had car crashes uh, from it, and okay. like one was like in a coma, and then another friend died from oh, it. Yeah, so, fuck. Thanks for keeping well, it light. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I definitely am pro. Uh, drink driving but in Ireland if you're, you're pro living, uh, you're anti I'm anti yeah, yeah. but in Ireland if you live in the countryside there's you literally have to. no way to get there's home there's no fucking cars I, that uh, guy's, no the, taxi. the taxi's also drunk so it might as well be you if you're in Dublin it's fine but the, like, yeah. if you're in Lomford where my, my family live it's yeah. impossible yeah. my family's in Jersey I can't drink there because I yeah. have to drive and then what there's I don't understand everybody must be driving drunk in New yeah. Jersey because there's only way to get to a place to drink yeah. is to drive there and the only way to get back yeah, is to drive call home. A cab back or you, you pool friends. So here's the thing. Cab. So Dan, does people have go these out things called Ubers? friends and yeah. they go together as groups and then there's a designated well, driver. Well, really I've never I've I've still never Dan's got like, out of a night where there's been a DD. Yeah? Yeah. You have never got out I'm, of a night? No, no, no. I mean I've never gotten oh. out for a night where it was like you're the person oh, not drinking. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, my dad will stay my dad and my stepmom they will literally stay up to like 3 or 4 in the morning just to bring home like to pick up uh, my brothers and sisters if they're out well I suppose it doesn't stay that late but let's say if my sister she's 18 and if she went to a place my stepmom would stay up to like 2 to go pick her up because she just wouldn't want her getting in a she's car she's 18 would your parents what if sometimes she sometimes it's buses would they let her go home with a guy um, I mean, she doesn't even live at home, so like that's just when she's visiting. So you oh. sound like for fucking research purposes, you were doing that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, my what par- do your parents feel about your podcasters? sister drinks till two in the morning? Hmm. My, see, I, I have two sisters and two brothers. No, I thought your I, parents had to pick them up after every thing, so they have to tell them if they're not yeah, going to come yeah. home. Well, if, Sorry. if she's eighteen, it's fine. Yeah. it's like up to herself. But like for the sixteen or seventeen year olds, they. Yeah. How many fucking sisters do you have? There's five of us all together. So God two sisters, damn. two brothers. Catholic. Dude, your mom's <laughs> pussy must be so tight. <laughs> well, that's why that's stepmom and girls. <laughs> you get it because of the sex makes yeah, it tighter. Yeah. I was re- I was referencing what I you were saying. I don't know if having babies make it the same. Oh, no? <laughs> I don't know. Well, well, well. <laughs> look I'm who's afraid. backpedaling. I'm and what? Where, do babies, baby. where do babies come no, from, Katie? No, because the babies stretch out your vibe. Do they? <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck! I gotta I'm sure it goes back, but I'm nervous at that. I I knew a girl and she had to get an operation to stretch it back. Really? Yeah, yeah I do those in my van. Yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah, I'm scared oh, of yeah. full circle. Twenty dollars. <laughs> it all comes back to the van you do everything. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, hey, uh, thank you to our guest this week's guest, Katie Boyle, for thank being you. here. Thank you. Wonderful guest. Check out her podcast, The Shift. Uh, anything else you want to plug? Instagram? Anything else? Um, Where no, can they find oh, you? Oh, Katie Boyle comic on everything. So yeah. Nice. Instagram, TikTok, all that. Yeah. Check her out on TikTok. You learned about pubes. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, and no, other you have things. to go far down. Yeah, you have to yeah. go down. <laughs> yeah, she made it f- friendly for her sister. So yeah. was, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I hope she learned about pubes. Right. Love mm-hmm. yous. Yeah. Bye. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, my boyfriend's straight watching. Maybe bisexual. Yeah, her, he might be bisexual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not what I heard when I fucked him. <laughs> right. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Boom. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. You don't remember I when know. Dan fucked your boyfriend? Oh. No, I'm kidding. Okay, yeah. Anyways, all right, we got to get out of here. Uh, thank you guys. Like, subscribe. Uh, I'm Santiago at Santiago is Dead. I'm Daniel at Daniel Lewis Veza. Yeah, check us out. Tell your friends. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.